Hey, what's going on everyone? Update number two on the TF2 build project. This is the uh, Trail Finder 2 from RC Fuel Drive. If you guys are just tuning in, I thank y'all. Now, before I get on with showing you the truck here, I do want to apologize for my lack of video uploads to the channel. I have not been keeping up aided on that. I've just been extremely busy with work and stuff like that. So that's, you know, causing me not to uh, get out and do any videos for y'all. But let's take a look at the truck here. I got a lot done. I've been doing the build off the camera because I really wanted to put my focus into the build uh, since this is my first uh, vehicle from RC4 Drive and I really just want to take my time to put it together and uh, not worry, have to worry about uh, filming and putting it together at the same time and stuff like that. So I decided to just do it off the camera and I'll just give you all updates. So I got the wheels and tires on. These are the 1.55 Mud Thrashers from RC4 Drive. Nice looking tires. Really love the rims. They were a little difficult to uh, install, but uh, once you got one done, you kind of pretty much know how to do the rest. <laughs> uh, I got all the uh, stainless steel screws in. Uh, well, some of the screws. Uh, yeah, but I got the uh, the stainless steel kit there, and I replaced all the screws uh, to stainless steel, so I wouldn't have any kind of rust issues or stripping out issues or you know issues. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the electronics because I finally got those installed up here in the front. I got the RC4 drive twister uh, servo. I'm not exactly sure on the torque base of how much it is. Uh, I do have a metal servo arm on there. Now, uh, I actually had to uh, wait to get some uh, extension cords for the servo here uh, because the front servo wire was not long enough to reach back here to the receiver box. So I had to get those extension wires. So I had to wait for a couple days for those to come in. But I got them, as you see. Now, the motor is a RC full drive 55 turn brush motor. Uh, that way, I'll have the uh, torque ability to. to the crawl level stuff because this is the the two-speed transmission so i have a high gear and a low gear so it just made sense to put the 55 in there so i got my wires run on the rail here esc is an axial uh, ae 5l esc this has the drive brake also has the light ports uh connected on it which is the same esc as the uh as the axial sex 10 there and I decided to go with that because it's waterproof. It has light hookups for it, uh, drag brake. So I thought that would be a good, uh, a good ESC to go with. So I got the battery right there. That's how it hooks into, and then the receiver box, which I actually cut out two parts. Well, this was the original, and I cut out this part right here to fit the ESC and server wires into, and so I got that. Now you're probably wondering what this is right here. Well, that's going to be my tailpipe for the truck body once I get that put together, which shall be coming up here next. So, uh, yeah, but uh, this thing is pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, I'll show you all the, uh, the two-speed transmission and working condition here. Let me uh, put the tripod up here, put the camera on the tripod. Excuse me for shaking up around. All right. Okay, so... We're going to turn on the controller first. Now I'm operating with a Skyfly G2B. It's a three channel remote. So let's turn it on. Plug up our battery. Like so. Alright. So here we go. This is the, uh, this is the high gear. Then we'll switch it to low gear. Big difference. High, high gear. So it's definitely giving me a lot of. That's the low gear. High gear. <laughs> 
So yeah, there, my friends. There it is. It is running. It's alive. Now I just got to put the body shell on, trim that one out, uh, make it all scaled out, and uh, we'd be good to go. So yeah, my friends. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next upcoming video of the uh, TF2, which will be the body build of it. And yeah. All right, my friends. Thanks for watching.